Look for wind nectar. Was that right? Going on. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for that one. That one is a fee-based event, and this is a free event. <laughs> Awesome. Like that. Well, my pride. <laughs> um, and then the last item that I wanted to share with you all this evening, I think I sent this via email, but I just want to let you all know about this too. There is a there is a trustee workshop um, that's coming up on August 10th. Uh, that's a Saturday at the River Forest Library. It's called Keys to Running a More Successful Board Meeting. Um, and this is put on by uh, Nancy Sylvester. She's the speaker that I was um, inviting you all to attend, or rather I was inviting her to attend um, a trustee orientation session for us here, and the date just didn't work out for us. Um, she, she was arranged by the Winnetka Library, and we were going to share with her. Right. Um, but uh, in any event, um, this workshop is being offered. Uh, this is a free event. Um, Saturday, August 10th, it's the morning for three hours, 9.30 to 12.30. Um, I'm going to see if I can go to this event, but if any of you are, are unable to attend, I think it sounds like a great opportunity, and I've got a little sheet I can pass around for you to see about that. Um, and that's it for my report. Do you have any questions for me? Any word on our Eagle Scout? Kenilworth? The, the Kenilworth project is still um, on hold right now. Um, I think the village of Kenilworth um, has bigger fish to fry with their TIF right now. Um, they had their meeting last <laughs> night. Um, I have been in coordination with uh, the village manager over there, and we believe we've identified a potential site. The next step in the process for the Kenilworth um, Library Board is for them to put a community survey out. And they would like to get a community survey out to test the waters to see if that community would use the box if it were installed. Um, so with that in mind, we want to, you know, I want to put the cart before the horse. So let's see if there's support for it. And if so, um, the board, I think the Kenilworth board meets on July 25th. At that meeting, I believe they will take action about putting that, uh, that survey together and uh, then we can start moving on that project. Is the metro station in the mix or are they looking at some other stuff? It's not an option, unfortunately. Um, the village of Kenilworth is, um, has reached an agreement with um, Union Pacific to route the North Branch Trail, um, bike trail, right across the front of, the, of that property. So it kind of dog legs through Kenilworth right now. Um, so the space that's immediately on the, on the frontage on Richmond Avenue there is no longer available. Um, there is a bike pad and that was exactly where I was hoping to target the box to be installed, but unfortunately that's not gonna be an option for us. So the Metro Station is out. Thank you. Uh, committee reports, anything from happening in terms um, of legislative? Because I'm uh, on the Partners and Advocacy Committee. My committee members are not here, but I'm aiming to have a meeting in August. It may end up being our first meeting in September, given realities of scheduling. But um, that's the only committee report I've got. Okay. Policy committee, uh, just a brief update. Uh, we met on July 2nd at 11, and the meeting's purpose was basically we reviewed and approved uh, the policies that deal with policy development, library administration, 2A Board of Library Trustees, Appendix 2B, Role of Board of Trustees, Appendix 2C, Duties and Responsibilities of Trustees, Appendix 2D, WPLD, Trustees Ethics Statement, Revisions to Policies Reviewed at the June 3rd, 2019 meeting were indicated in red, and Revisions to Policies Reviewed at this meeting will be presented at the next Policy Committee meeting. And uh, our next meeting, uh, is scheduled for Monday, August 19th at 11 o'clock, and it's review, to review Policy 2B, Appendix 2E, Finance Policies, Policy 2B, and Appendix 2E, and outlines the duty and responsibilities of the, that outlines the duties and responsibilities of the library director. It was recommended that we present it all at the September board meeting because they all because some of them are referenced and ones that we haven't improved, and so it's better to see it, the body as a whole. Also, uh, Trustee Roberts has agreed to propose that we conduct a workshop on Roberts' Rules of Orders. 
Uh, and we discussed that at the meeting and that he might do a two hour orientation or not orientation, but just education. And that would help us in terms of running the meeting a little bit more efficiently of what we do and what we don't. Tracy Rogers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He said Roberts. Yeah. And I was oh like, wait, I, do I not have somebody? I just told you it's a different name. No, you, had, no, you had Roberts Rules of Order on the I, well, Roberts They're changing Rules. that name to Rogers Rules of Order. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I should. I to a lot of things. things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that was one thought in terms of having uh, <clears throat> a trustee orientation and meeting to discuss some other things. And there's some other things on the books that we'll talk mm -hmm. about later at the they refined a little bit there. Could you repeat who was in, in attendance of the trustees? Uh, yeah, who was in attendance? Uh, McDonald, Barshees, Rogers, Wolf, and uh, Director Anthony Austin and Georgia Gephardt from the League of Women Voters. That's great. So is there like some document of policies that you're working off of? Mm -hmm. All the ones that, yeah. Right. Could you send me a copy if I know when you get a chance? Mm -hmm. Sure. Thanks. Yeah, policies and procedures probably. <coughs> so they but you probably, you probably already have. Well, um, I think the committee is, has been reviewing the policies up to this point. Um, but he so meant the old ones. The old policy? You're talking about the existing well, ones, Well, both. Right? Whatever you're looking at, if you could send that The existing me. ones, yeah. And <laughs> whatever the existing, and if you've got some proposed ones that the committee has discussed, if you could send those to me as well. Well, Thank it's you. a work in progress. Whatever documents have been circulated, if you wouldn't mind sending it to me, I'd appreciate it. Okay. And okay. That's it for the policy. Um, the ILA conference is October 22nd, 24th. <coughs> And trustees are welcome to go there if they want, and they can see the program, and it's listed under where you can go to see the website to see if there's anything that you might want to see. And the library will pay your way. And you've read the communications, and I think and that was in no uh, fabulous Tinley Park. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and I like it when it's at the airport. <coughs> and then new business, old business. You wanted to trustee? Yes, I'd love you to, to talk um, about the parking share. Lot. You know, it's, it's, I think it's really relevant because today also one of the comments, the public comments was about parking, but I had, um, I visited the library last week and um, I was talking in the park. I got in my car and I was talking to someone who recognized me in my car and I kept getting beeped at, beeped, 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 and this person ended up parking and approaching us. I was, you know, obviously in my car, but I had not obviously exited and um, really berated both of us for wasting time talking in the parking lot when other people are, there's a line to get in to park. And so it really, like, opened my eyes to, you know, there was a line, obviously, maybe I wasn't very considerate to those that were waiting in line to park, but it opened my eyes to um, the, maybe it's that same person, because I don't know when that date was, but oh. maybe it's that same person that um, decided to make that comment after yelling at both of us for <laughs> visiting in the parking lot. It's been it's been an ongoing issue for years, so it's okay. not yet, so. And then, um, secondly, I was approached by, I bumped into one of my history teachers who, um, uses the library quite often. She's retired now, but I was saying that she subs now and she tutors history and English here and she meets her students here and how difficult it is to park at times during finals or um, even times where there is um, certain things that are due, for example, you know, college applications or something. She noticed that that's when it's super difficult. And there's, she asked if we had discussed this during the meetings. I said, you know, I've, I'm just joining. So I was wondering if I could ask the committee, the facilities and equipment committee to, um, this is one of the plans for long-term I know. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, there's a long answer, which can, can take uh, <laughs> a couple days if you want, but I'll try to give it in brief. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the bottom line is we've talked, obviously, as you know, a lot about what's in our budget, what's, what's, in, our, what's in our building and, and um, our building fund. And, and, and the, the goal is at some point to try to be able to buy a piece of land and 
add more parking because of the very issues that mm -hmm. we are we are so aware of that the community is very frustrated by that and we as a board are frustrated because we based on where we're geographically located there hasn't been a lot so far we've been able to do having said that in the last couple of years there has been some slow movement forward in getting to a dialogue with the city who owns the land that we would have to buy to to create a, a better parking mm -hmm. arrangement adjacent to the library because right I think now this they is only what, lease us a few on that right, back Right, that's lot, what I understood from they, the last meeting. And it is, it, it, is a, it is one of our top three concerns as a board. And I've understood also that the village hasn't been very cooperative over the years. I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't, that, that's, not, that's a little bit of a, it's, it's just that there hasn't been a way to get into the dialogue with the, with the village that, that, that works for what, what they're trying to do on a, on a bigger, bigger scale. So, so the, what we're trying to do now is figure out how to best create cooperation. It's not that they haven't been Their focus has been more on developing businesses yeah, and understand tax that. revenue yeah. in terms of with the available land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I said, they've got a bigger picture in terms of the whole village. We have one issue, and the question is how can we create a dialogue with the, with the village that, puts, that helps them out and helps us out at the same time, and that's what we're working on. So. But as a, as a follow-up to that, could I sort of understand our our policies for staff parking in the lot currently and if you have opinions about the direction it ought to go because my opinion is certainly staff should not park in the lot unless you're which handicap the one we have the lot unless lot. right unless there's you know physical issues where you're disabled and you need to uh, but you know yeah, well, I mean, you know, but yeah, during one, the committee one, 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 meeting, course, I mean, no, 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 no. You ask a good question. This make one point of information that you two may not be fully aware of. Sure. And, I, and again, and I'm not bringing this up. It's, it's ironic in a way, but as I said, the, one of the reasons we have this big amount of money in our budget, or you know, in our in our, and it's, it's available to us, is if we get that opportunity to buy the land, we need to do that without creating a referendum, without putting a tax burden on the on the village, we, on, on the village, because we'll have the money in hand to make the purchase. Have, uh, but to your point. One of the issues that, that we actually, I think before Anthony came on board, we actually had people, staff members, monitoring who it was that was taking the bulk of the parking spaces. Unfortunately, an issue that we discovered and we're kind of aware of already was that it's the post office um, staff that will park in parking in, in library parking. And we work with the post office. They've memoed people to, at, the, at the post office that they're not supposed to park there. But in watching the activity, uh, as Wilmette Library staff members did, we saw that there were still, on occasion, many postal workers that were parking, taking taking away Wilmette Library parking spaces. Mm -hmm. But you so also have increased. We've increased activities here as well. So it's, on, especially yes, in the yes, and so it's yes, a combination of factors. Right. And the, and the Anthony can speak more of this than I can. But but there aren't a lot of, and you kind of said this before, there aren't a lot of easy access parking spaces close to the library for staff or patrons to park at. So so where everybody goes is a growing issue because of the, the growing popularity of the library. Um, sure. I mean, and I think I would just, I might attend a few of the facilities meetings. I think it'd, it'd be worth putting that on the forefront for it, it us. Is, it is the priority of It is the priority of, it is the priority of, of And of maybe even getting it public. You know, let's get the Wilmot Beacon involved. If we're not getting the, the headway that we want to, let's get some public, you know, there could be more maybe well, we public could, for the village push is what I mean. That could be something we can talk about in committee pushing. in terms of strategy because that's one thing that's been evolving over the last several years and as I said there has been some progress and, and we hope to build off that progress and, 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 and make something happen but it's but there's no guarantee of anything happening soon but but we can certainly, that is, again yeah, like that's... like a timeline on our strategy yeah, exactly. it's been over the Yeah, you know, but definitely come years. to the next meeting. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'll comment on, on uh, Trustee Johnson's point here in a second. I just want to sure. come off of what we were just saying there. So I think we may have an opportunity to engage with the village at some point here in the near future. And I think the communication really, we want to be strategic about how we want to handle this. Um, it's, it's clearly a priority and we want to resolve this. Um, I, I don't want to burn all of my social capital with the village immediately. I, I want to make sure that um, you know we can, we can collaborate and, uh, and think about an appropriate timeline for this. But I think there may be an opportunity coming up in the near future. When we were meeting with the village to discuss uh, the permitting process for the library, I learned that um, the, the condominium that's immediately um, behind us in the alley here, um, the storefront on the first floor is going to turn into a restaurant at some point here in the near future. Um, I know that it is the village president's goal to uh, make um, Wilmette the restaurant mecca of the North Shore, and, um, and we're getting there. And uh, by adding another restaurant there, um, that should be an attractive option. 
um, there's not a lot of parking on frontage um, on Green Bay. And so I learned that it was the village's strategy to allow um, restaurant patrons to park in the lot behind the building. And that happens to be the lot that the library is currently um, uh, leasing uh, spaces from. And I was reminded by the village that um, our lease on, on that property is a daily permit that goes up until 7 p.m. So um, I, I think we're going to have an opportunity to do more, more communication and clarification about what the expectations are for uh, residents in our community to take advantage of all the wonderful goods and services that are available in this community. Um, and parking clearly is one of those matters that we need to discuss. So we'll have ample opportunity to do that. Um, in terms of the opportunities for staff parking, um, staff does have the mantra of placing our patrons first. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think, you know, universally we all agree that we want to prioritize service for our residents. Um, so that is definitely, um, you know, in the forefront. There are certainly going to be uh, those that need priority access to the building. Um, so, you know, that's those, those folks that, that need to park next to the building yes. will. And those who cannot um, or, or who can park elsewhere will. Um, some like a walk, 